these devils are hurt, man. <laughs> Damn, these devils are hurt. <laughs> yep. He's black. Hebrew Israelites. They're so black. They're black. Black is not a nationality, Esau. We got Israelites that look Asian. That look like the so-called white man. We come in an array of different colors. Negro is not a nationality. Or black. Edom, Esau. <clears throat> Got the whole world deceived. On the color narrative. Black white paradigm. We're not black. And devil. The whole world was bogged out because of this man and his fake news. <coughs> I'm gonna get ready to bring it up. Just finished the Sabbath today, went out this evening. Shalom. Barakata Yahweh. Barakata Yahweh Shai. Kohalayla. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rakakadash. All praises. All praises. Be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hope of the land scattered abroad, and double honor in respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, diviners are mad. Diviners are mad. Most of you have heard me say this before, that I delve into the left-hand side before coming into the truth. So there's a lot of things that I learned on the left-hand side. And the glory of the story is that the right-hand side is stronger. The most high is right-handed. So this truth sets off a spiritual empowerment that nothing else can compare to. <coughs> so the diviners are the high-level global elite sorcerers, witches, warlocks, those that are manipulating your mind via the media. They're using all types of stunts and deception, crisis actors, false flag events, false reporting. Many of the same actors are showing up in multiple sets and scenes. <coughs> Videos are being taken down at a rapid rate, faster than I've ever seen. But most importantly, shadow ban. I didn't know the meaning of shadow banning until about two years ago. <coughs> so if you, look, if you look at the timeline, when the apostles came on YouTube, July of 2007, the world has rapidly changed, dramatically, because of this truth. This truth changes the atmospherics or the social atmosphere. It affects people's behaviors, the way they think, the way they view the world. Everything gets affected by the vibration of this doctrinal song. A new vibe is operating on the earth. A new spirit is circulating throughout the world. 
the diviners are mad. <coughs> Media experts, sorcerers, witches, warlocks on a high level that do blood sacrifice with children missing jakes each year. So they are being frustrated because of this word. And that recent incident <clears throat> about the man claiming that he was on YouTube for three years hurling threats or communicating hate. Our videos don't survive a day if it even suggests anything of hatred. It's lucky to last a day or two, maybe two days at the most. But this bald head, shaved face, overgrown baby is claiming to have been on YouTube with this type of rhetoric for three years, threatening to kill people. No way in hell. And if you believe that, you're an idiot. <coughs> an idiot. Well, this, it pleased the Most High by the preaching of this word. I'll start there. Shalom, beloved brothers and a few sisters that follow us. Shalom, Barak the Thumb. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Let's go to verse 19. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. We're going to start at 17. Shalom, beloved. 1 Corinthians 1 and 17. Or Amashiach sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Amashiach should be made of none effect. So this is a baptism of spirit and fire, a spiritual baptism. Man does not get the credit for this. Theological seminary schools, PhD degrees, philosophies or philosophical, philosophical doctrines and discussions. So this is a spiritual makeover, so to speak, a baptism by fire. This truth. Let's, let's read that again. 1 Corinthians 1 or 16. 17. Or Hamashiach sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Hamashiach should be made of none effect. So this is not wisdom based on a philosophical man-made doctrine. This is a heavenly spiritual baptism by fire. <clears throat> Let's go to verse 18. For well, the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of the Most High. So these words invigorate our soul, empowers us <clears throat> to stand with great boldness in the face of those that have afflicted us, to walk fearless, to rebuke a wicked global elite without fear, without shame. So in its simplicity, it is dangerously effective. This word is a sledgehammer across the heads of the elite. Through the simplicity that is in Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, we are moving governments, driving policy, YouTube communication guidelines, YouTube community strikes, <coughs> YouTube limited speech, policy
galaxies are being shaped, formed, directed, and slowing down this bird. We are moving mountains, governments, through a pure doctrine that's been tried seven times through the fire. Pure words. Let's go here. Brother, Prince of Yahweh. Psalms 119, verse 140. But thy word is very pure, and therefore thy servant loveth it. So how can you take something that's pure and distort it? I mean, you saw the movie American Gangster. Remember Denzel told Cuba Gooding Jr.? It's pure like it is. Don't add or mix anything to it. Don't make it weak and keep the name behind it. The Most High's name is behind this product, this doctrine, this word. It's pure in its raw form. It's powerful in its natural state. It is effective in its origin, the source of the light and fire, Yahweh. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. Policies are being created. Community guidelines are being created. Video restrictions are being created. Pure doctrine. Brother Andre serving Yahweh Shai. Jeremiah 23, verse 29. Is not my word light as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer, that breaketh the rock in pieces. So this entire construct is under fire, calling out the fake imposters in the Holy Land, calling out who the wicked is. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, calling out the evildoers or workers of iniquity, the international bankers, identifying who the Lord's chosen people are, his anointed elect, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latinos. Over $10 billion is being sent over to the imposters, those that occupy the land by force, by the Balfour Agreement, or the Balfour Agreement. So Ezekiel 36 identifies these people as the wicked, as Idumia. 10 billion of US tax dollars is being earmarked and sent over there to those people. Imposters. Brother Adam Nun, Wisdom of Solomon, six and three. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest, who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Why is this a heavy scripture? A nation is being born out of the nation of America. The nation of Israel is obtaining sovereignty, independence. Somebody post John 8 and 32. So we gain sovereignty through wisdom. We obtain independence, sovereign thought. We have a defense, a shield and buckler in your house shot. We have a rock, a foundation of a nation being built through your house shot, the word. We have a sword, a military, a defense through the word. Fear not, my servant Jacob, neither be dismayed, for I will help thee, saith the Lord. And when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So how can a nation emerge from the ashes, from the dust of the earth, without a standing army? How can a nation that's been cast off or written off emerge with leadership of the tabernacle of David, governors, rulers, lords, when we are clothed 
in garments of mourning, sackcloth. It's too much. Let's read this again. This one scripture made the entire lesson. Brother Adon Nun, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 3. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest. Who shall try your works and search out your counsels? So we got a governmental council that goes back or taps into ancient knowledge. A word. We have a political establishment, a house of the Lord, through the word. Beautiful. Why? Or the Prince of Yahweh. Psalms 119 and 141. I am small and despised, yet do I not forget thy precepts. So we get elevated and set on high through a pure doctrine, through an ancient wisdom that cannot be gainsaid nor resisted. So we got a military through the word. We got a sword and shield and buckler through the word. We got a heavenly council through the Holy Spirit through the word. We got a Congress and a Senate through the word. The Most High says, my council shall stand through the word. Brother Andre serving you have a shot. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word. <coughs> Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So I was a military intelligence officer. We needed technology to tap into what's going on around the world. We needed satellites, imagery, video footage, but through the word, we got a vision. We can see, we can prophesy, which means to say before we have a defense through the word. I have counsel of angels that encampeth around them that fear the Lord through the word. It's too much, it's too much. He is our shield and buckler. The Lord shall fight for thee. Let's go to Psalms 44. Oh, it's too much. You ain't got to worry about it. spending $780 billion to stand up an army. We don't have to worry about buying planes and ships, tanks and heavy armor, heavy weaponry, machine guns. We don't have to worry about it. Let's go to Psalms 44. We have heard with our ears, O oh God, our fathers have told us what work thou hast did us in their days, in the times of old. Oh Lord, if that didn't just punch you in the chest, you're not in the truth. So through great works, signs, and wonders, the heathen and Gentile nations were dismayed, taken down, by a chariot, a fire at night, and a light by day that led our forefathers out of the ancient land of the house of bondage, Egypt. Brother Gabar Dhamma, Shalom, Barakatah. Proverbs 4 and 9. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory, shall she deliver to thee. So we inherit the kingdom through wisdom. Wisdom is what builds a kingdom, an empire. Proverbs 4 and 10. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. Eternal life, immortality. Proverbs 4 and 11. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. Woo! Sometimes somebody knew.
think I'm a one about is life. Wisdom is what lifts us up on high, where we can sit on the throne of glory, crowned. Go back to Psalms, Psalms 44 and 1. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and plantest them, how thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. So mountains are going to be moved by the word. Governments are being shook and trembling by the word are going to be dismantled and crumbled by the word. They're going to be rolled down. Somebody post that. Jeremiah 51 and 25. I will roll thee down from the rocks like a burnt mountain. So we're reading about the Department of Defense. We're reading about the Department of Air and Space Travel. <coughs> the House of Representatives. We're reading about the Council of the Lord. How thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and plantest them. How thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, thy what? But thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O God, command deliverance for Jacob. So the governments are going to be dismayed. Are going to be rolled down from the rocks. A word can move mountains. A word can make kings shake and tremble, lose sleep at night, create false flag events, fake news of a bald head, overgrown, shaved face, overgrown baby. Talking, talk, talking about he's an Israelite. <clears throat> so grown men are acting like children. They're being confounded by this truth. Brother Adam Nunn and Brother uh, Gabar Dunn. Jeremiah 51, verse 25. Jeremiah 51, verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroys all the earth, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. We got firepower through the word. We have a strong right arm through Yahweh Hashem in Hashem. Eyewitness accounts of the nations being attacked by fire and brimstone, by laser and chariot fire, by the right arm of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai. So this Bible is compound. The Bible is compiled of eyewitness accounts. Well documented. So what are we to fear? Brother Ernest L. Psalms 90 and 16. Let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children. Well, the Most High is doing a mighty work. A mighty work. And their wise counsels are being confounded. CNN, MSNBC, Trilateral Commission, Council on Foreign Affairs, the Bilderberg Group, the Club of Rome, the House of Representatives, Brother Gamar Adam. Isaiah 47 and 13. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, 
the monthly prognosticators. Stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. So what are we reading about? They're going to try to mandate being merged into the beast, the beast system, and being tagged, tracked, and monitored. So the Most High is raising up an adversary, Russia, stirring up the Medes. So he has a sword being raised up. That's going to set it off. Shalom, beloved brother, GMS above, your eyes from your heart. So he's raising up an adversary to bring down fire with nuclear missiles because the Israelites are going to be persecuted, afflicted, imprisoned, targeted, why you think Russia is being raised up, threatening nuclear war against America? Somebody post that in uh, Revelations 20. And Zechariah 2. The Most High is going to be around us as a wall of fire. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. So they're going to try to force mandate being merged with machine. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Revelations 13. Let's go here. Wait a minute, what we got? So Russia is being stood up to help initiate that standard of fire. So the moment they come after the Lord's elect of Israel, it's over. We're going to be thrown into prison, some of us. Some of us are going to be beheaded by the guillotines, heads chopped off. So they're, they're weary in the multitude of thy sorceries, their media propaganda, their fake news, their false flag events. Let's read this again. Brother Gabar Adama, Isaiah 47 and 13, thou, thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Beautiful. When the Most High says, behold, look here, look here, Brother Gamar Adam, Isaiah 47 and 14, behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame, there shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. So he's raising up a standard of fire through Russia, their witchcraft, their mind control their manipulation through the media, their weaponized media propaganda machine, the satellite surveillance, astrologers, stargazers, monthly prognosticators, their listening devices, biometrics, space surveillance, and spyware. Brother Andre serving you how shot. Nahum 3 and 4. Because of the multitude of thy whoredoms, of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. The daughter of Babylon is built on deception, mind control, manipulation, calling us black. You, you're right, boss. I'm black, boss. Calling us Negro. You're right, boss. I'm a Negro boss. And Gentiles, you right, boss. I'm three fifths of a man, boss. You right, boss. Nahum three and five. 
I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. This is why they're rapidly taking down videos. Shadow ban. The new channel I created, they started deleting and dropping views, so I can't go live. New community guidelines. If you're not at a certain threshold of subscriptions, you can't go live. So I already started noticing that. We don't give a damn about subscribers, but it's the YouTube community guidelines. We can't go live. So they're dropping views. So I can't go live on the new channel. So the Most High is getting ready to rain down fire on the daughter of Babylon. How do we know that? Let's go here, Brother Gabar Dunn. Yep, you got it. It's in Revelation 20. Thank you, brothers. Brother Gabar Dunn, Zechariah 2 and 5. Or lo. Zechariah 2 and 5. For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. <coughs> See? So, Remember the three Hebrew boys. The son of man is going to take up the elect of Israel into the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs. So we're going to escape as birds escaping out of a prison. Somebody post that. So the fire is not going to touch the elect. Why do you think they stood up? A 24-hour day, seven days a week, so-called UFO task force monitoring and conducting surveillance on these ships. So that fire is going to be a protection around the elect. Brother Gabar Dunn, Zechariah 2 and 5. For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, saith the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, saith the Lord. So we're scattered into all nations. So we got to separate our spirit from this place, Easter, Thanksgiving, ha Halloween, and the ways of Babylon. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. So that fire is going to be initiated when they begin to cut off the heads of Israel and throw some of us in prison when they touch the Lord's anointed. And he says, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Brother Adam Nun, Revelations 20 and 4. Now we need, we need that fire. Yeah, where is it at? Right here. And then we'll go back to 20 and 4. Brother Andre serving you how shot. Revelations 20 and 8 and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, God and may God, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Russia is God and may God. So they're being used to set it off. The land of the north is North America or America. So the Most High is waiting for them to touch his elect of Israel. Revelations 20 and 9. And they went up on the breath of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. See? So the moment they touched his elect, it's over.
The moment they touch his elect, we need this one too. Thank you, Brother Adam Nana. They're going to try to force mandate being tagged, marked, monitored, and merge man with machine. Brother Adam Nana. Revelations 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones and vase. Revelations 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh and for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. They're going to try to force mandate the Karaks and the Karagma. And the Most High is going to cause fire to rain down on them. We're just going to start with Russia. Follow I lay in chariot fire of the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs. Some of us are going to be beheaded and become martyrs, living witnesses for this truth. Revelations 20 and 9. And they went up on the breath of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about. And they went up on the breath of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Who are the saints? The elect of Israel. The beloved city. The faithful city. The so-called Negroes. Native Americans and Latinos that believe. So diviners are going mad. Sorcerers are going mad. Government officials are going mad. Do you know they have a national Boy Lover Association here in America. A National Boy Lover Association. Fire is going to consume Sodom and Gomorrah. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Brothers adopt on run house of David. Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. That's why they put a wicked ass nigga on the mainstream media. He's not prophesying. How can you threaten to kill people for three years? Only a government agent will be able to do that. Our videos get taken down for teaching the Bible. Ain't no way in the hell this black man was able to threaten to kill people for three years and not get community strikes, videos taken down, shadow banned, channels removed. No way in hell. So if you believe the mainstream news, you are an idiot. But when they try to come in and mandate these unrighteous decrees, the Most High is going to rain fire. Now, when you read, Brother, Awaken to Truth, let's read this first. Awaken to Truth, Psalms 124 or 7. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare. <coughs> We're going to read it again. What scripture comes to mind? Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now we know that the daughter of Babylon in itself is inherently a prison. America comes from the word mighty God or mighty I, which means bitter. A mighty God, bitter. So this place in itself is bitter. 
awaken to truth. Psalms 124 and 7. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. So while it's consuming with fire, the elect of Israel, the faithful, the believers, are going to be taken up into the chariots of the Lord. You don't devote $40 million to a UFO task force for nothing. $40 billion to monitor these ships, the so-called UFOs. They are the chariots of the Lord. So they can't gainsay this Bible, nor resist this truth. It is the word of the living God, an ancient wisdom. See, let's go back to 1 Corinthians. Yep, I love reading this. The moment they try to touch his elect, this place is going to detonate in place. Brother Andre serving in Hosea. Psalms 105, verse 15. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Beautiful. Let's read this, and then we're going to go back to 1 Corinthians. Brother Andre serving in Harashai. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. Whereas North America is in the Western Hemisphere. North America is in the Western Hemisphere. So this is the power key that's going to take one spark to set it off when they come after his elect. Brother Andre serving you how shot. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Well, that standard comes with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. So in the midst of the fire, he's going to bring more fire. These, <laughs> these so-called UFOs can emit high energy, concentrated laser beam fire. Andre serving in Havashai, Luke 18 and 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? So we read about that beloved city in Zechariah 2, verse 5 and 6. Elect of Israel <coughs> that believe on his word and tremble at his name. Brother Adam Nana, no, let's go here. Brother Uziah, Brother Uziah Yalah, Psalms 37 and 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Who's using the media to demonize the Israelites or teaching the truth? Who's trying to call us domestic terrorists? Who's trying to make us the bad guys? When we're poor, we don't have a defense. The Most High calls us a worm, a easy prey, being devoured by the fowls of the air, the other nations. 
See? Don't thank me. Give all praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Bible says a man's goings is of the Lord. How can a man know his own way? Let's go to 1 Corinthians 1. 1 Corinthians 1. Let's go to verse 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. So we are exhibiting low-level power by prophesying, telling you what's coming, by condemning the wicked, the Edomites, by telling you that the elect of Israel were going to be saved, caught up from the prisons, caught up from the throne of Babylon in the midst of fire, telling you that this place is going to be dissolved, a great mountain, is going to be turned into dust, destroyed. Brother Isaiah Snow, Luke 21 and 12, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. See? So, Revelations 2 and 10. Behold, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. So be faithful 10 days. And that 10 days can be a literal 10 days, up to 40 days, where you how shy was tested tried and tempted and fasted 40 days. Brother Gavar Dabba, Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. <coughs> Beautiful. Always going to lift up a standard and take the elect through the fire. We can read about that in Isaiah 43. The fire is not going to burn us. The waters and the floods and the tsunamis are not going to take us. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 20. 1 Corinthians 1 and 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? So they got to resort to low-level high school child's play. Fake news. False arrests. Crisis actors. Fake, fake violent acts or incidents. Creating crisis incidents, creating acts of terror, trying to block our videos, block notifications, send corrupt or vicious files to our pages and our channels, corrupted files and links of naked women. This man is doing everything. So they can't come against a spiritual fight. They cannot defeat spiritual wisdom. They can't defeat the power of the breath of the Most High. 1 Corinthians 1 and 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? The theological cemetery schools. They're trying to come against this truth. They are defeated. Vocab Malone. White supremacy is defeated. Feminism is defeated. All the Israelites were dark skinned. We can prove that. Somebody post that in Jeremiah 8, 
somewhere down verse 20 and 21. Job 30 and 30. Job 30 and 30. Jeremiah 8. It's either 20 or 21. So this Bible confounds the educated elite. PhD slave degrees. Theological cemetery schools. See? The Israelites were dark-skinned. The original 12 patriarchal fathers. <clears throat> Let's prove that. Brother Andre serving you how shy. Jeremiah 8 and 21. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment have taken hold on me. White supremacy is defeated by the word. Feminism is defeated by the word. Somebody post that. I think it's uh, Proverbs 8 and 3 or 4. So this word is dismantling this wicked queendom. Proverbs 8 and 4. White supremacy can't survive the word of the Lord, the living power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Feminism can't survive the word of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Simpism can't survive. <coughs> Let's read this. Brother, Brother Bayan Yasharab, Job 30 and 30. My skin is black. No white nationalists. White supremacy. Job 30 and 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. See? So the Israelites, the 12 patriarchal fathers, were all dark skinned. Now the Most High is further confounding the wise because we're dispersed. Jeremiah 8 and 21. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment have taken hold on me. White supremacy can't survive. Feminism can't survive. Let's read that. Brother Isaiah Snow. We need four. Let's go to Brother Adam Nana. Brother Adam Nana. Well, we'll read three first. Proverbs 8 and 3. She crying at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Wisdom, this truth, through the men of the Lord. Brother Adon Nana, Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. See, pedophiles are being taken down by the word. White nationalists. White supremacists are being taken down by the word. This internal government structure built on lies, deception, is being weakened because it's built on a weak foundation of deception. Lies. Brother Ernest L. Lamentations 5 and 10. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. How can you defeat an ancient wisdom, an ancient doctrine? Proverbs 8 and 5. Oh, ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. <coughs> so he gives the spirit of understanding to the elect. Let's see how King Solomon looked. King Solomon, which is Yahweh And when you read verse 1, it's talking about King Solomon wrote this. It's not talking about some so-called black woman. These are the writings of King Solomon. When you read Psalm of Solomon 1 and 1. Brother Israelite seeking salvation. Psalm of Solomon 1 and 5. I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. 
Kedar is a son of Ishmael, which is dark skin. Brother Gabar Dama, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which the tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Let's see how the Judites look. The chief tribe, Judah, where our Lord and Savior come from. Brother Benny Legrand. Brother Benny Legrand. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. See? So our Lord and Savior, King Solomon, which is Jehoshaphat, is dark skin. Let's go back to Brother Gamar Adama, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out. I'm excited. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Brother Aaron Martin, Lamentations 4 and 8. Their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth in their bones. It is withered. It is become like a stick. White supremacy is losing. Edomite supremacist terrorists are losing. Somebody post Isaiah 44, verse 24 through 26. And then we need Deuteronomy 33. My enemy shall be found liars. In Deuteronomy 33, it's towards the bottom. Let's go back to King Solomon. Brother Andre serving in Havashai. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. <clears throat> I, even our Lord and Savior is dark skinned. The Israelites were dark skinned. And our seed, which comes from the man, is scattered into all nations. Brother Ernest L. Revelations 1 and Brother Aaron Martin. No, Ernest L. Revelations 1 and 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So Yahushai had dark feet, as if they burn in a furnace. So as his feet is dark skinned, is he going to look like a so called white man in the face or have leprosy? No. His face matches them feet. And he spoke with authority, a voice like many waters. So the wise men are being confounded, confused, angered. We got to get that. We missed in 20, 25. Or maybe I'm the one that's, that went off. No, here it is. Brother Andre serving in Haushai. Isaiah 44 and 24. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. So the Most High controls everything that we breathe and see, smell, can feel, touch, a master of the elements. Andre serving in Haushai, Isaiah 44 and 25, that frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backwards and maketh their knowledge foolish, giving us a golden retriever telling us to worship him that maketh their knowledge foolish.
false doctrine, false religion, white supremacy, feminism. See? <clears throat> Theological cemetery schools. Brother Andre serving you how shy. Isaiah 44, verse 25. That frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad. That turneth wise men backwards and maketh their knowledge foolish. Beautiful. Verse 26. That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. That saith to Jerusalem, Thou shall be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. So the tabernacle of David is being raised up of the house of the Lord. When you read and study the tabernacle of David, all nations were enslaved under the tabernacle of David. Or the red tape. I'm not sure if your scriptures are being cut off or what, but I'm not sure what you're posting. Diviners are being made mad. They're going crazy. Look at Vocab Malone. Clearly, the scriptures is identifying the Israelites, <coughs> the 12 patriarchs, dark skinned men, the original 12. Patriarchal fathers of the sons of Jacob. And this man is still promoting white supremacy and false Christianity. So they're bugging out of their mind and they're scared. All their lives they've been brought up on the white supremacy, white privilege, barons and cairns roaming, roaming the earth, harassing people. Now they're scared. The people that you have depressed, oppressed, discriminated against, kicked in the ass for over 500 years are the sons of the living God that you told were nothing. You're right, boss. I'm black, boss. I'm just a Negro, boss. You're right, boss. I'm an Afro-American. Brother Gabar Adama. Brother Gabar Adama. Somebody post Daniel 7, 8, and 9, please. Daniel 7, 8, and 9. Brother Gabar Adama, Daniel 10 and 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. So Daniel is seeing a vision of the Most High in a vision. Brother Leroy Walker, Daniel 10 and 6, fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polish brass and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude spake and spoke with authority <laughs> like in color. Who's called color on the earth? Colored people. Who had to see discrimination, colored faucets, or no colors allowed. The most high is called colored. The so-called Negroes are called colored. Native Americans, Latinos, colored. Or the Leroy Walker, Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery furnace. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. He's occupying a so-called UFO, a chariot of the Lord, whose called color the most high is described as color in the Bible. You done fucked up, Esau. You afflicted the children of the most high, the sons of the living God, that you call nothing, Negro, nigger, ape. 
Now you're scared. Colored only or no colors allowed. Whites only restaurants. Whites only faucets, bathrooms. Now we're reading about the most high. We look like him, the sons of the most high. If you have seen the father, you have seen us. Or if you have seen us, you've seen the father. Or we're made in this image. Shalom, beloved brother. Basic wisdom. Well, hey, sister, red tape read. The Bible commands the women to learn in silence. That's 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. <coughs> 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. And uh, 1 Timothy 2, verses 19 through 21. And our Heavenly Father's name is not Yahweh. The fake imposters with the big nose and the little hats worship Yahweh. There are no E's, O's, and U's in Hebrew. His name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. It's not Yahweh. That's the tetra, tetragrammaton. The imposters call on that name because they're afraid to call on the true name of the Heavenly Father. See, it's right here. So they're afraid to call on the true name. But awaken to the truth posted where it says a woman is not supposed to be teaching. When you look at Esau, Edom, why you think most of them are pedophiles? They promoted pedophilia, feminism. So most of their men are pedos through feminism. So a lot of their men have broken backs, no backbone. So their, their kingdom is out of order. So we're against feminism. It weakens the men, make them scared, emotional, they're too emotional to make decisions. That's on the white supremacy and feminism. Eve and the proverbial snake in the grass. Now all praises to you. How about Shem? How shall A man's goings is of the Lord. I'm just a tool. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a man. So the Bible says that a man's goings is of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So the little hats call on Yahweh, or the father's name is Yahweh. He is. He exists. His son's name, Yahawashai. He will deliver. Let's read Brother Adam Nana. Malachi 1 and 14. But curse be the deceiver which had in his flock a male and voweth and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing, for I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. See? So they have an effeminate spirit. Broke back men, butch women. When you look at the Edomites, notice how aggressive Karen is, walking around looking like a bulldog, wearing a mask, barking at people. And look at these Darrens. They talk like Mickey Mouse. Hey, look here, buddy. Hey, look here. Who wrote that book? Who wrote that book? See, they're all jacked up. Look at the kingdom under Edom. Bugged out. Darrens and Karens. Bugged out. Brother Leroy Walker. Psalms 102 and 15. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth, thy glory. So eventually all nations, <coughs> every knee shall bow, and every tongue is going to confess that he is Lord. Yet how about Shem Psalms 102 and 15. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth, 
my glory. Brother Gabar Donna, Proverbs 9 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So the elect of Israel, fear his name, believe in him, and trust his word of promise. For the Andre serving in Havashai, James 2 and 19. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Exactly. That's why they're not allowed to say his name. They're afraid to say his name. They teach not to say his name. The imposters, the little hat, big nosed people. They know. So the truth is in the earth. The entire demographics of the earth is changing. Masculinity is being reborn. Women are becoming ladies again. Instead of trying to take the man's place, men are learning to stand up and straighten up their backs and develop a backbone. Okay? So this word is changing the elements. The Most High can manipulate the elements. He's doing that with his word. This word is like a consuming fire. This word is like a pure water, natural spring water. This word purifies us and cleanses or purge our spirit. Brother Adam Nana, Haggai 2 and 22. And I will overthrow the thrones of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. So this kingdom is being collapsed by the word. The elements are being shifted, moving. Molecules are moving, bouncing against each other. The entire atmosphere is changing, or atmospherics. The social demographics is shifting. White supremacy is defeated through the scriptures. Feminism. The wicked are condemned. A ruling governing authority. The global elite are condemned through the scriptures. Read Job 9 and 24. 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians 1 and 20. 1 Corinthians 1 and 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Where is the wise? See? So their elite are baffled. Their elite are confounded. Their theological cemetery PhD slave degrees are dismayed. They're confused. Who wrote that book? Who wrote that book? 1 Corinthians 1 and 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world, my wisdom, knew not the most high. It pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So those that believe <coughs> are going to be saved, are going to escape from the snares and the traps of the Father. Are going to be released from prison. Are going to be caught up into the air to meet our Lord and Savior. The so-called UFOs, 40, 40 billion dollars dedicated to monitoring, tracking, surveying, and data collecting on the chariots of the Lord. You thought we were crazy when we told you the chariots are coming. The Lord is coming. The chariots of the Lord, the chariots of fire are coming. We told you, 
Judgment is coming. You waited to Esau, Edom, begin to mention it and create a UFO government quick reaction task force. Then you believe, but you rejected the word. You denied the prophets. You mocked and scoffed <coughs> until Big Daddy, sleazy, evil E, your God, mentioned they got to do something about these so-called UFOs, these unidentified aerial phenomena or flying objects. So the Most High is confounding the wise. Your PhD slave degree can't compete with the word of prophecy. For the Andre serving Hausha, Revelations 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so am I. So the chariots of the Lord are described as clouds by the ancient prophets because they use advanced cloud cloaking technology. They can hide or camouflage themselves in the clouds. We told you this, but you waited for your slave master to tell you. You waited for evil sleazy E, a proverbial snake in the grass, the serpent to tell you that they're afraid of the chariots of the Lord. Job 5, Job 5 and 10. Let's go to Job 5 and 9. The book of Job, chapter 5, verse 9. Which doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number, who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields. For the most high works, signs, and wonders are unsearchable. Job 5 and 11. To set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Did we not read we're going to be caught up to safety and are escaped as birds from the fowler in Psalms 124? Did we not read that? Save from the fire of the nuclear missiles, saved from the fire of the chariots. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Who just had a World Economic Forum? <coughs> a global reset agenda, promoting transhumanism, promoting to tag, track, bag, surveil, and monitor humans, merging men with beasts and machine, promoting bestiality. Who's promoting bestiality? A sweeping across Europe, starting with Germany, a new world order, a new global enterprise. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, Let's read that again. Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. So they're going to fall in the pit face first in the snare that they have dug. So that pit of destruction is going to come with nuclear devastation. They, they created the devices of nuclear war, the devices of a international holocaust, the devices of the crafty. They created this new world agenda, global reset. See, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And the Most High says what? That the smith, somebody post that please. The Most High created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. 
through 5 and 13. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. So there's secret chambers. There's secret planning meetings. There's nefarious activity. Clandestine activity, which is done in secret. Secret planning. <coughs> Brother Andre serving you how shot. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, look here, look here. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So the most high put in their minds to create weapons of mass destruction in the minds of these scientists and global elite. Isaiah 54 Verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So we're going to be saved from the massive nuclear holocaust, which means burnt offering. Saved from the snares of the father, FEMA camps, guillotines, or some of us are going to be martyred. And once again, getting back to that false flag event, nowhere, no way in hell, they let a black ass man like him make three years of videos threatening to kill people when we can't even suggest anything remotely close to hate. Our videos won't survive 24 to 48 hours without being taken down and are being shadow banned daily. So anyway, the Most High is going to preserve the elect from the massive destruction that's going to come upon the earth. And the global elite or the wicked, they're going to be dismayed. <coughs> And they're going to be searched out in their 18 to 24 million dollar underground doomsday bunkers. So no weapon. They wet their tongue like a sword. Weaponized media. They're promoting Armageddon, World War III. And they're going to use nuclear, <laughs> nuclear missiles. No weapon that is formed against the house of Jacob. Jacob are his servants, elect. No weapon that is formed against his chosen is going to prosper. Neither is their weaponized media propaganda, which is used as a weapon. So hopefully this has been an edifying lesson. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Kadash. Double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect and honor to the brothers doing the work in truth and sincerity. Risking their lives and freedom to do so. Pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. He is frustrating the counsels of the divine or the diviners, the wicked, the sorcerers, the warlocks, the elite, International bankers are being frustrated by the word and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, or Kwa Kadash, Kwan Yasharala, and Abad Baba, or Rakatana, frustrating the tokens of the diviners and make the diviners mad. Shalom, Rakatana.